Welcome to Chuck Builds. If you've been on any home assistant social media lately, you've likely seen one of these devices, the RAT GDO, R-A-T GDO by Paul Wieland. This is a device based on an ESP chip right here in the middle that allows you to bypass your Chamberlain LiftMaster MyQ Security Plus 2.0. That Security Plus 2.0 has rolling codes that you can't just use any dry contact like a Shelly, and you need some brains behind it to send commands remotely. This is due to Chamberlain and LiftMaster getting rid of their API for the MyQ Security Plus, which in my opinion is really junky of them as I have recently purchased multiple garage door openers and gate openers from them and I specifically bought their kind because of my queue and the existing support that they had. Before I install it I want to walk you through what I'll be using. I'll be using one of these devices from Paul Whelan's uh, website that I ordered a few weeks ago. I'll be using a buck converter that does 12 volt to 3.3 volt so that I can power this from the battery that exists inside of my garage door and gate openers. And then I'll be using some chopped up leftover Cat6 solid core ethernet cable as my little jumpers. Um, I'll be using this to make the data connections. We need to become familiar with what options we'll be using on the left side here for the Security Plus 2.0. We're going to have a red control to the wall button, and then we're going to have a black obstruction sensor to the sensor. And so the ones that are already in your garage door opener are going to come into this device, and we're adding two wires to go out from this device to the garage door opener. And you can see that here with the two GDO. I will also be connecting the buck connector to the 3.3 volt here in the ground right here. While I don't have red and black wires, I'm going to be using blue and blue stripe for my uh, wall buttons. And then I'll be using the green wire here for the obstruction sensors. So I'm just pressing this button in, sticking in my wire and then pulling it away and then putting in my white, pressing the button and pushing in the wire. And then I'll be using just this green one here for the obstruction sensor, which would have been black to the garage door opener. I'm gonna press the button, stick my wire in and release the button. They're in there pretty tight. I'm gonna just kind of wrap so that it's not too loose. Just a little bit for the tens tips. I want to leave those and I'll press the button, stick it in and release. It's pretty solid. Press the button down here for 3.3 volt, stick it in, release, and pretty solid. Over to the garage door opener. So I just wanted to show this is my garage door. I don't have a center mounted garage door motor. I have it on the side called a jack shaft opener. And there's a little door here that will open up to gain access. And then on the inside, we can see these are the wires that we'll be using to connect to. Um, just the black, white, and red right here. And then I need to get in here to get to the battery to power it. So I'm gonna open this up. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is just wedge these in there. I don't think I'm gonna make spade connectors or splice into it. Let's see if we can get a light to turn on. It looks like we're getting power for sure when I connect. So I really don't wanna cut this. I'm not sure what it's gonna to do to my warranty. I was thinking I could find a non-invasive way to bridge these. I think what I'm gonna do is just stick the edge of the wire in there and then see if I can force it on and see if that's enough contact to hold. And it's shockingly in there okay. <laughs> I was about to cut this, so I'm kind of hoping I get away with this little bit of junk right here. Not my proudest connection. They're in there okay. And we got a blue flash there, so we've got power. So what I've got next is a little oscillating cutter. And I'm going to make a little gap here so that I don't pick.
pinch the power wires. There's a lip here that I was scared getting the wire around. It was gonna cut it. Long term, I don't want this being pinched rubbing through the outer casing. So I'm gonna do a small cut in this upper corner to remove a ledge that I could fit two of those wires through and then probably round out on this side as well. Not really my best work. Probably wasn't the right tool for this. If you have a Dremel, I'd probably recommend using that. I thought this would be quick. A um, couple scratches, but functionally, I think we've got it. I'm getting ready to pin all this up. I've got some two-sided VHB 3M tape that should be pretty high heat tolerance. I'm gonna use this to kind of just stick this buck converter out of the way when we get a chance. And then I'm now going to reattach the door where these wires will hopefully fit through and out. Perfect, that's exactly what I was looking for right there. So I've got the backing off the tape here and I'm just gonna kind of press this into place right above that door. We've got the rat go wired up to the power hanging out. We've got our butt converter taped up. It's now time to wire up the rest of this RET GDO. I wish I knew what the RET stood for, but the garage door opener. First one we've got here says two wall button, the red wire. So I will be pushing in here and pulling out the red wire and then pushing the butt, the orange button on the back, sticking the, the red wire in. Next up, we have black wire to the door obstruction sensor. So I'll push this orange button in, remove the black wire, and then plug it in here. Now we're done taking wires from here. We're only putting them in now. So next we have our black obstruction sensor to the garage door opener. So the black that we just pulled out, I'm gonna take this green one and put it right back in. Just like that. This next one after is white ground to garage door opener. So I'm gonna stick this in the white one right next to the red. And I just doubled up there inside that hole. Just stuck it with the one that was already there. And then last but not least, we've got red, which is actually blue here into the red on the garage door opener. And we can see that here to GDO. So everything's wired up. Let's try it out in the app. So I wasn't really sure how to show you that it works other than uh, pulling it up and recording it. Got the RATG garage door opener GDO there. And then I'm gonna come over to Home Assistant on my garage computer. And I'm gonna click up on the door. And it immediately goes. I can click stop and it stops halfway. And I can click down. And it goes down. So, huge success on the garage door. Little different with the jack shaft opener. The wires are the same, but with the battery and the buck converter. And I think we're good to close this up.